Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Tech Coders, and today we are going to solve question number 16 of lead code that is T sum closes. Okay, so question says that we are given an integer array nums of length n and an integer target, and we are supposed to find three integers in nums such that the sum is closest to target. Okay, and after finding the closest sum, we are supposed to return that sum. So now let's understand with the help of an example what exactly the question is stating to us. So see guys, before moving to the solution, let's first understand what exactly closest means. Okay. Let us suppose that I'm having a value as 5, okay, and there will be values either of the sides. It will be 4, it will be 1, it will be minus 5, okay, and over here it can be 8, it can be 13, and it can be 16, okay. Now I want the closest value to 5. I'm saying that the closest value to 5 is 5 itself. The closest value to 5 is 5 itself, okay. Now what can be the next value? Now what can be the next closest value? It is 4, it is 4, okay, after that, what is the next closest value? I can see that it is going to be 8, it is going to be 8, okay, now likewise I will have more values over here. So now see, how I am finding the closest value, what I am doing, I am finding the difference between the two values and if the difference is less than the difference between other two values, then I can see that that value is closest, let us suppose that over here, as I was standing at 5, I calculated my sum with each of these values and I find that the difference between 4 and 5 is minimum. So I can say that 4 is my closest values. Okay. After 4, 8 is my closest value and likewise I will move further. Okay. Now let's come into the solution part. So now see, can I say that I will find sum of 3 elements and then I will subtract it with my target. And for this sum, I am getting the difference as minimum that is going to be my answer. So now I can say that I will try to find my sum. Okay. That is the sum of three elements and then I'll subtract it with my target and then I'll subtract it with my target okay and the time and the time when I'll get this difference as minimum and the time when I'll get this difference as minimum that is gonna be my answer that is gonna be my answer okay so let's see what I'm trying to say as I want the sum of three elements so what can be the brute force approach it will be like this initially I'll start over here that is I'll fix this way so over here I'll have one for loop. I'll fix this too. So for this again I'll have another for loop. Okay. And then with the help of a third for loop I'll keep on iterating for the remaining elements. Okay. So this is going to be a brute force approach. And over here I'll get the time complexity of nq. So now I know that yeah this is really very high so I don't want this. I want a bit optimal solution. So now see what can be the optimal solution. So now I'm saying that we are going to use the same approach which we have discussed in threesome. And if you haven't watched the threesome video, then I'm giving that link in this i button. Okay, you, you can go and watch it. So now see, what we were doing initially, I was just sorting it out. I was just sorting it out. So let's first sort it out. Okay, minus 4, 1, 1, 2. Now see, as I want the sum of three elements with a better time complexity from n cube. So now I'm saying that initially I'll fix this position. Initially I'll fix this position and from here to here, I'll keep on finding the sum and incrementing and decrementing all my variables over here. Okay. So now let's try to understand what exactly is going to happen. Okay. I'm saying that I'll have three values, three variables. Initially I will be 0, j will be i plus 1 and k will point at last element. Okay. So see, this is my i, this will be my j and this will be my k. Okay. This is j, this is k and this is i. Simple. Now what I have to do, I have to find the sum, I have to find the sum, what I will do, minus 4, minus 1, plus 2, my sum is gonna be minus 3, okay, now what I was doing at that moment, I was finding the difference, I was finding a difference, now see, what will be my difference, my sum is minus 3, my target is 1, okay, so I was subtracting this, so I was getting minus 4 as my answer, okay, I will take absolute of this. Why? Because I want to maintain minimum difference. So that's why now my difference will be 4. Okay, now my difference will be 4. So now see, what was the sum over here? It was minus 3. Okay, now I can see that my sum is less than my target. Okay, now what to do? As I can see that my sum is less than my target, so I should increase my sum so as to reach near to the target. And so as to maximize my sum, what I should be doing? I should be using a greater values okay but I said that this I will be constant over here so what I'll do I'll simply increment my J because this is in a sorted order and if we'll move from left to right side my values are increasing okay so what I'll do when the sum is less than target I will simply increment my J 
okay now my j will point over here now my j will point over here now let's again calculate the sum minus 4 plus 1 plus 2 now my sum is minus 1 now my sum is minus 1 okay again what will be the difference for this case for this case the difference was 4 for this case the difference is gonna be 2 that is absolute of minus 1 minus 1 so 2 okay again the value is lesser than the target so i'll increment my j now my j will come over here again okay. and because of my base condition which is gonna be like this while j is less than k i'll come out of this loop i will come out of this loop okay So now I am out of my loop. What I'll do? I'll simply increment my i2 here. I will simply increment my i2 here and j will be here and k will be here. Okay. This is my i, this is my j and this is my k. Okay. Over here we are going to perform the exact same logic as we have performed in three sum. Again we'll try to calculate the sum. Again we'll try to calculate the sum. The sum over here will be minus 1 plus 1 plus 2 which is equals to 2. Okay, which is equals to 2. Now I can see that my sum is greater than my target. My sum is greater than my target. So what we'll do at that time, I'll simply do one thing. As my sum is greater than target, so I, so I should minimize it to reach to my target. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll simply decrement my k. As I can see that this is in a sorted form. As I'll move from right to left, my values are decreasing. So initially my k was over here, so I'll simply decrement it. Now my k will come over. Now my k will come over here. Again, the base condition is false, so we'll come out of it. Now, let's calculate the difference for this. Okay, so my difference will be 2 minus 1, absolute of 2 minus 1. Okay, that is 1. That is 1. Again, as I came out of this loop, my i will come over here, and further proceeding is not possible because j and k will point to the same element. Hence, we are not going to iterate for the further cases. Okay, now see, it was 4 over here, it was 2 over here, it was 1 over here. What's the minimum difference? It is this. How can I say that the closest sum over here is 2? The closest sum over here is 2. And let's get and let's check whether we got the same answer or not. Okay. Yeah, I can see that I got 2 over here. So yes, this was my approach. Okay, what I said, it is exactly same as 3 sum. If you want more sum examples, then you can go and watch the video of 3 sum. Okay, now let's go and code it. What was the first step? We were simply sorting our array. So let's sort it. After that, we'll create a difference variable to hold the difference, and initially its value will be maximum. Okay, it is maximum. After that, I'll have an answer variable which will hold my answer. That is the minimum, that is the closest sum. Okay. So the third variable will hold the size of nums. Simple. Now we'll simply iterate from i is equals to zero, i is less than n i plus plus so now see this was my array let us suppose that with this i am having one more values that is minus four okay that is minus four so now see initially my i will be over here okay my j will be over here and my k will be over here so see i'll perform all these operations for these values from here to here okay so what i'm saying is that as I have calculated for this minus 4, so it's of no use to calculate for this. Okay, because we are going to get the same values. As if you see that minus 4, minus 1, 2. Minus 4, minus 1, 2. Minus 4, minus 1, 2. Both of the cases, I am getting the same value. So it's of no use to calculate for this case. Okay, so let's write condition for that. That is, if my i is greater than 0 and if nums of i is equal to nums of i minus 1 at that time i am not supposed to perform anything okay so yeah now i am here after that what we were doing we were having two more variables j was i plus 1 and k was n minus 1 that is the last element so now we'll iterate further while j is less than k okay so now see as we want the sum of three elements so rather than writing ai plus aj plus ak again and again what i do i am storing that in my sum variable that is nums of i plus nums of k plus nums of k okay now see 
Just for the sake of understanding, we took some series, and over there I said that the closest value to 5 is 5 itself. Okay. In some cases, my sum will be equal to my target. So let's write go for, for that. If sum is equals to target, at that time I'll simply return my target. Okay, as it is the closest value. Else if absolute of sum minus target is less than my previous difference is less than my previous difference then at that time what i'll do i'll update my difference with absolute of sum minus target okay and i'll simply store that sum to my answer okay understood this is what we are doing exactly over there now when we are supposed to increment and decrement my k i said that when my sum will be greater than my target at that time i'll decrement my k or else i'll increment my j simple so yeah, that's it after performing all this code we'll simply return our answer now let's try to run it i hope we haven't done any mistake over here sorry i place dot so yeah we can see that it is running and now let's try to submit it. Yeah, it is submitted too. So this was the solution guys. I hope you understood all the logic and concept over here. So like our video, subscribe our channel and share this with your friends who are participating in all this code forces and lead code rounds and all. Okay. So thank you for watching and have a good day.